a hundred years of community right here in Macomb County. As neighbors, as friends, First State Bank was here through it all. As the county grew, we grew with it, starting businesses, building homes, supporting families. And through all of the ups and downs, one community bank survived and thrived, locally owned and locally focused. This is a Macomb story, and more than anything, a success story. This is First State Bank. There was no other bank in the area. It was called Halfway Bank because it was halfway between Mount Clemens and the city of Detroit, and it was right on Nine Mile Road in Gratiot. It was in the Halfway Hotel, which was built about 1895, and I believe initially there were like three or four people that formed together to start the bank, and it was very successful. Halfway State Bank changed their name, reorganized, and became the first state bank, and they moved into the former Stevens Bank building. The ownership wanted to stay. They, they wanted to keep First State Bank going. They're people that are invested in the community because they're people from the community. They hire people that not only work at that bank, but live in the community. They live in Macomb County. I don't care what branch I walk into. I don't feel like I'm an account. It's a hometown bank. I don't think there is a business or a financial institution in this county that is more heavily involved or invested in the community than First State Bank. They are from Macomb County and people feel comfortable knowing that they care about them as if they were their own family. I believe First State Bank has found a niche and that is they haven't forgotten the little guy. The friendliness of the people here uh, speaks for itself. When I think of First State Bank, I'm thinking of a relationship, a family. Partnership team, quality partner, trust. Trust. You can trust what they say. Somebody that's loyal, stable, and financially sound. Pride in what they do. Honesty. Friendly. Capital F on friendly. A wonderful staple in this community. We've been here for five generations. Um, personally, my own, I started in the early 1960s. And of course, my family, children, grandchildren are also here. When I was six years old, my grandfather had had accounts. He had lived in the city since he was, since 1905. He had accounts at First State Bank from the time when it first opened. And he told me I needed to learn how to save money. 16th birthday comes around, buy a car, Mark. You can afford it, you know, I'll have to co-sign, my dad said. My dad walked me into First State Bank. I was uh, at 16, treated with respect. I asked questions. I wasn't laughed at at 16. It was uh, obviously a, an impressive um, experience for me. I've had two houses in the last seven years, and uh, both of my loans were with First State Bank. And again, it was back to that family attitude of, you know, we're going to work with you as a person, not just a number. Large banks don't have time for a lot of the smaller companies or even individual homeowners, etc. This is a bank that does. I chose them over another bank that I was kind of playing or dealing with. And uh, I think their lenders were more receptive to what I had to offer. It's important for a customer to know that the businesses that they trust also trust them. And I believe that First State Bank has proven to their customer base that they're trustworthy, which is why people trust them with their money. First State Bank's been my bank since day one. Many banks call me now. If I'm looking to switch, they want to come by, meet me, you tell them I'm happy with who I have, I just simply don't have the time. I have no need to look. So many large corporate banks are, in my opinion, taking from the community, taking from the people. First State's philosophy has always been giving back. In 2008, we found ourselves in the midst of a financial crisis. First State Bank, like most other banks, struggled. This was a difficult period for the county. It was a difficult period for all institutions, and it was a very difficult period, I think, for First State Bank. First State Bank it was the, is the only community bank who survived in Macomb County. 
the bank was resilient um, they were very um, intuitive they're very sharp with their financial means and I think that they were well aware of what was happening unlike most other banks First State Bank never requested assistance from the federal government we never required assistance we never received assistance and First State stood their ground and I think I would attribute their survival um, would be, you know, their customer service and the services they provide for other businesses to become great. And many people depended on that, still do, I still do. Uh, people trust the community bank, they understand what they're all about, they know the people working there. I think it's just that, uh, that relationship that they provide uh, for people that gives them that comfort and that level of trust. I've raised my family working here and I've made some outstanding friendships with other employees and with customers and out in the community. And I've been able to do it while working at First State Bank. And when you find yourself in that kind of an environment, why do you want to go anywhere else? We live in the community. We frequent the businesses in the community. So it's not just a business relationship. In a lot of instances, it's become a personal relationship. They do so much community service, and it makes a big difference because they get to know all the people. They see that they're here at the Mall of Partridge Creek. They see they're here where they shop. They see they're visible at Macomb Community College, where they go to school or where they teach. And I think that that plays a huge role in First State Bank's commitment to the community, which in hell allows the customer to want to commit to them. Uh, we're constantly donating, um, willingly. Uh, we truly want to give, uh, give back to these communities. The philosophy of the bank is just, is we're local, we want to keep things local. You know, anyone can open a business, anyone can stay afloat for a year or two, but to stay afloat for a hundred years just speaks volumes. But it sure has been great to have First State Bank in this city for a hundred years. It's part of the fiber of the city. Uh, we're going to be celebrating next year our 200th year uh, as a county. So being here half of that time, which is a century, is pretty remarkable. They have the knowledge and the skills to move ahead for another hundred years. First State Bank, the board of directors, the shareholders, senior management, has always taken a long-term view, and, and that is to ensure that we have the strength to continue on for, for many years to come. We don't plan on going anywhere. We're looking forward to another 100 if it takes us that far. We're committed, we're loyal. Uh, we the customers number one. Now it has been since 1917, and it is now in 2017. Yes, it's very unique that we have a bank that's 100 years old. I don't think there's any other bank in our community that has endured. I guess I attribute that to our leadership. They're unique people and uh, they love this bank. <laughs>